shabby. Meghan burned a lot of bridges in the UK to get her political career but it all flops. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's latest projects were branded really tawdry by a commentator, as reports circulate that the Duchess is considering a transition into politics. A royal commentator has declared that the multitude of ventures embarked upon by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry since leaving the royal family has burnt bridges for future work opportunities. A royal commentator has claimed that Meghan Markle is really disliked amongst the British public, after she and Prince Harry launched their new Hollywood careers with Hammer and Tongs. Through their charitable foundation Artuel, the couple have agreed to a number of new projects, including an animated series, whilst recent reports have also suggested that the Duchess is considering a move into politics. Royal commentator Neil Sean said, What I find quite funny is, it would be a really good test to just sort of see where she could go with this. Look, she's a very ambitious woman, there's nothing wrong with that, I admire her ambition but you also have to have a reality and think where could I go with this. Now, when you look at a lot of the projects that we've got coming up, we've got this animated thing with David Furnish, we've got Prince Harry's book, yes they've got to make money and they've got to live. I get all of that, but everything's really tawdry. They didn't just disappear for a year maybe and thought okay, we'll have a quiet life and then build the bridges back, but they've just gone at it hammer and tongs and over here, Meghan Markle is really, really disliked. They talk about the younger people liking her, that is not the feedback when I'm out on the streets filming. She seems to have burnt a lot of bridges and Prince Harry, to me, looks like a man sat on Magadon. I don't know what's happened to him but if you saw the GQ speech, you think when's he going to come alive again? There has been speculation whether the former Suits star might embrace more political views now that she has left the royal family. During last year's US election race between Republican Donald Trump and Democrat Joe Biden, Meghan urged Americans to vote, saying, we all know what's at stake this year. Whilst she was a member of the royal family, Meghan was unable to voice her political stance nor show support for a particular party during an election. However, since Megxit, the Duchess has become more outspoken on her beliefs and in November 2020, she and Prince Harry urged the American public to vote in the presidential election. She hailed the election as the most important election of our lifetime, and gave a speech that was interpreted by many as a demonstration of support for Joe Biden. Before joining the royal family, she had made her thoughts on President Donald Trump clear, calling him misogynistic and divisive. When she was at university, Meghan had considered a career in politics, and studied theatre and international relations at the prestigious Northwestern University. She took part in an internship at the U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires and applied for a role within the U.S. State Department. However, she later found success as an actress and was cast as the leading love interest of the protagonist Micross on US legal drama suits. Since leaving the royal family, Meghan and Harry have launched a number of projects through Artuel and have signed a multi-million pound deal with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. The deal will see the couple produce a range of informative content, with Meghan's first project revealed as a children's animated series. Titled Pearl the show will follow a 12-year-old girl on a series of heroic adventures as she interacts with influential women throughout history. Prince Harry meanwhile, is due to executive produce the docuseries Heart of Invictus, which will follow the competitors and organizers of the 2022 Invictus Games.